high fans of high quality entertainment. Guess what I just heard? There's a fog upon L.A. And my friends have lost their way. They'll be over soon, they said. Now they've lost their minds instead. You know what I was thinking before I get into the review of this particular album, Magical Mystery Tour, is I should do start doing videos of Beatles songs. Maybe you can request a Beatles song and, and I'll attempt to sing it. But the thing is, as much as I love Beatles, the Beatles and their songs, I can't remember half of their lyrics. Seriously. So that could, could make for a kind of partially funny video where I try and s attempt to sing a song. So, this is the review for the 2009 remastered Beatles CD. And you know what? It's really not as bad as some of the other stereo CDs of theirs. Let's start with Magical Mystery Tour. This is a big shocker, but the drums are on the left chan. Uh, most of the lead vocals are on the right chan. Uh, the roll-up chorus is centered, and the bass and the horns are in the right chan, so it's kind of not a great stereo mix. The Fool on the Hill. This is going to be a shocker for a lot of people, but the vocals are centered. You don't even have to have your headphones this way. Uh, the keyboards are on the right, the, the flutes are in the left channel, penny whistle solo is centered, and I wrote, because I, I wrote this out last night, nice mix. Overall, it's a pretty good mix. I mean, of course, yes, it can still be remixed by Giles Martin and improve things for the, the clarity of the sounds and everything, and maybe like you did with Sgt. Pepper, just make it more awesome than it already is. Flying. I love the song Flying. I know it's mainly an instrumental with some la da la 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 las, but some Beatles fans don't like that song, and I don't understand why. I think it's just amazing. Uh, everything starts. Now, there's three songs. I, it, it just hit me last night. There's three songs on this album that all start in one channel. Uh, everything starts in the left channel. Uh, the drums and the guitar. And then the guitar comes in to the right channel. The Mellotron is centered. Is that how you pronounce it? Mellotron? Mellotron. Uh, and the vocals are centered. And it's you can really hear Ringo in the uh, chorus that they sing. I love that. And overall, once again, I said, nice mix. Overall, even though it starts, you know, just in the one channel, I, I th kind of, in a way, it's kind of cool the way it is. So if Giles Martin ever remixed Flying, I wonder if, I guess he would have it to start it all in the center. But you never know. Blue Jay Way, another song that's not loved by some Beatles fans, but I've always enjoyed it. Uh, once again, everything starts in the left channel. The keyboards, everything. And George's vocals are in the right channel. Drums in left channel. The Don't Be Long vocals, uh, the chorus, is centered. And I wrote pretty good mix overall. Even with George's vocals in the right channel, for this particular song, it's not quite as, as an annoying as some of the other songs for some reason. Your Mother Should Know, A Real Toe Tapper. I should sing the song right now. Let's all get up and... I forget it already. Uh, vocals are on the right, then on the left. Background vocals on the right. Keyboard centered, bass centered. The drums are centered. Ringo must have been having an off day because they're usually in the left hand. So, once again, uh, not a terrible mix, but it's just the vocals being just in the one channel is kind of annoying. I Am The Walrus, another song that starts, everything starts in the left channel. Uh, the drums are on the left, and then 
the bass is centered. There's some drum work that is centered, actually. I guess it's the bass drum. Uh, the lead vocals are centered. And what I hate, not hate, but I, what I dislike about the stereo version of I Am The Wall versus when it goes into the sitting in an English garden part and it goes into, uh, I guess it's, is it mono that it goes into or it's, there's really highs and really lows. It's kind of hard to, I'm not technical, but it doesn't sound very good. And the version they have on the Love album is really good. And uh, so that kind of spoils the song when it go, switches in, into that. I even put horrible production because of when it switches into the garden part. Hello, goodbye. Drums on the left, but everything else is well done. And the vocals are centered. So overall, it's not a bad mix. Strawberry Fields Forever, Penny Lane, both of these are well done. The drums are in the left channel, but the vocals are centered, and that's the main thing that I think annoys a lot of Beatles fans with these stereo mixes is when the vocals are just in one channel. If the vocals were centered, yeah, you can have your guitar there and the bass there, or the drums, whatever. But the vocals, for the most part, really, the main vocals need to be centered. Baby, You're a Rich Man, which, along with I'll Get You, were the two songs that I, I did not like when I was younger, like when I was a kid. And through the years, I've really, really, really grown to appreciate both songs, especially Baby, You're a Rich Man, which I absolutely love now. Anyway, I put Great Mix. The vocals are in the middle. Uh, the hand claps, which are actually the main percussion, they're, they're pretty loud in the mix and they're centered. Uh, there's drums in the right channel, but overall it's a very good mix. And all you need is love. Another great mix. The drums are centered, the vocals are centered. Of course, Giles Martin could improve on the sound of it in time, but overall it's an improvement over some of their other albums for uh, the stereo mixes. So I would love your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and happy Canada Day!